Hello everyone, another video with Saf Tech Reviews here and today I want to discuss why I think the Galaxy Fold 2 is one of the greatest phones you can buy today. This phone has some really cool features I'd like to uh, discuss and show you and um, let me just jump right into it. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about when it comes to this device is media consumption. So let's say you're watching a video on YouTube, for example, on any other phone, you would normally um, rotate this uh, this to watch it in a, in a different uh, angle so you can see more of the video. Um, you can consume media in several different ways. You don't really have to be holding your device or tilting it um, because what you could do is very, very simply here. You can open the phone in this V-shape, right? And you can place it like that. You don't need a kickstand or anything. You can prop the device up and, and watch any videos that way. And it's, it's a really cool way to consume media on this device. Another thing is continuity between the apps, right? And I'll get more into this later, but essentially you could um, open your phone and it will continue to play whatever it was playing on that front screen on the inner screen, right? And the, the reason this is so cool is when you're watching videos on this phone, Unlike other phones, you actually don't need to rotate the device at all for the extra screen estate. This is more than enough to watch your videos. Another feature that one of the apps inside built, like inside the phone that you could download from the Galaxy Store, uh, excuse me, is it allows you to force multitask some applications. So I have a hotkey here set for um, this recent apps key. If I click and hold it, it will automatically start a split screen view for me. And I can jump into any other app here. Let me try to do, hmm. let's see the Play Store, for example, right? So I'll open up the Google Play Store here. You can see they're open and split screen view. What's super cool about this is now you have a vertical split screen. You don't normally see this in phones. Phones normally multitask horizontally. Whereas in this one, guess what? You could be watching videos in split screen, which is Amazing. You can also switch back to the other orientation. Let's say you want to see more of the video. You can swap the orientation. You can also save this configuration and it will it will uh, put it in the side uh, of, of, of the phone, um, which is super cool. So let's say I'm accidentally into here, for example, I went back into the Play Store. I can start that uh, that view again right here. You see, I can I can relaunch into that view whenever I want to. I can switch again to vertical if I wanted to. I can also swap their positions if I wanted to, right? Super smooth, super um, useful um, experience. You can also uh, go a step further, right? Let's say I'm watching a video here and I'm doing something here on an Excel sheet, let's say, or something. And I need to calculate something. I don't need to throw all of this away, right? I can um, go, go up here right and and grab another application here so that, let's see how we can do that let's say i go to all apps here and i find the calculator app if i click this and drag it out here look at that in the center pop-up view i have a third application open here i can be calculating something and i have a youtube video playing up there I can copy this value if I needed it. If, if it's in my way, I can shrink this. I can move it somewhere else. I can be doing something else and come back to the, this application. I haven't really seen other phones on the market doing these three-way uh, three three way, uh, multitasking here. It's, it's, it's pretty incredible what this phone can do. Uh, I don't see it being discussed much. This is one of the many features that this phone stands out in. Um, What's really impressive is most phones today have really good cameras anyway. This phone is definitely one, one of the best cameras you can get, but I mean, yes, it doesn't compare to an S21 Ultra, for example, but it's more than enough. When you upload pictures to social media, they get compressed anyway, they lose quality, unless you're going for something extremely pro uh, and your whole thing is to have the best camera. This phone doesn't have the best camera, but what it offers is quite impressive can do a lot with this phone. So another example, recently I've been traveling uh, on, on, a, on a flight and I wanted a way to have all, all my media in, in one place to game, for example. So let's say I uh, close this app, I'll, I'll open up uh, GTA here, and you know, you can unfold this phone on a flight. You can get a very simple stand like this one, 
uh, this is a stand I picked up online, it was pretty cheap. You can just set it to prop that way, right? I'll set it over here just to give you an example. And you can place the phone that way, right? So now my phone is propped up and I have this ultra portable controller here uh, that's made by 8BitDo, it's an N30 Pro. A really, really, really cool uh, portable controller here, by the way. I uh, highly recommend this one. Uh, and it's it, you, you can just like pair it to your phone and, and then you can um, uh, game uh, right away on your um, on your device wherever you are. So it's it's pretty cool to have this sort of ver versatility. Like not not that long ago, we were playing these games on full blown consoles, right? We didn't really have a, a controller paired to it or, or anything fancy like that, right? But but now we do, right? Now we can uh, pair a controller in our pocket. You know, I'm I'm playing GTA Vice City on a 120 hertz refresh screen in here, which is amazing. Super clear, super. Uh, the quality is just incredible on the screen right and you can literally just game on the go right uh really cool feature here on this phone uh there's uh, a lot you can do there so the this is uh one of the really nice things i like about this device um so let me get into some more features here i'll put this away um another really cool thing about this device is the speakers so why do I say that? Most phones come with a bottom firing speaker and the earpiece speaker. This device, however, comes with a bottom speaker that you can see here, but also on the other side, there's another speaker right there. And what that allows you to do is whenever you're uh, gaming, right, or, or watching videos or, or whatever you're doing, uh, when you hold the phone, the speakers naturally are where your palms curve, so the sound projects towards you, and it's super, super loud. I mean, you can hear this phone from anywhere, like around your house. It's actually pretty loud, and I don't really see much of a point demoing this on camera because it's kind of hard to tell uh, how good the speakers are through through my mic. Uh, this is something you, you you could see more in in reality and uh, and really appreciate. Um, one other thing that I find super cool about this device is the fact that the fingerprint reader is not an in-screen reader and non-in-screen readers actually work pretty well on these devices, okay? So as you can see when I touch, the, the unlock is, is almost instant on this phone. It works super well, it's, it's super reliable, and it unlocks instantly and it's on the side. It's, it's very, very, very cool, works really well. Um, one final point I want to bring here about this phone is um, it has a very um, interesting design, very interesting look, and a lot of times when you're using this phone in public, it's a conversation piece. Many people will walk up to you and ask you, hey, what is that? I, I haven't seen something like that. What is that? Your screen actually folds? Like it bends? That's crazy, right? That's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's a really cool device. Um, it 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 catches a lot of cool attention. Starts really cool conversations with people that are interested in tech, or even not. Actually, some people are just super impressed by seeing something like this. Um, but having this device, you know, I personally found no need to even own like an iPad or anything. I mean, it's pretty much a tablet in your pocket. Um, I've seen so many people try to. Uh, scare people away from buying this phone like because of the reliability and that the inner screen is gonna get damaged. I've had this phone literally for a very long time. I've had no issues with it. There's no damage on the screen. Uh, you, as long as you're not digging your nails into it or you're force using it with force or like, I mean, nothing's gonna happen. If you're using the phone as it's intended to be used, right? Nothing will happen. It's a great device and it does offer what other devices simply can't offer. I mean, something that's super simple is when you go to restaurants today and scan QR codes on other phones, you have to keep scrolling around, right? To to um, to look at menus. On this phone, when you open up a menu in a restaurant, I mean, you can read it in full view and it's so easy to look at at all, all this text and you, you just have so much real estate to work with here. And I really can't explain how much of a difference this makes on a day-to-day -day basis. 
One other point which I believe is slightly psychological when it comes to using this phone, but, but it is very true, I've seen other Fold users even state the same thing, is this phone is very akin to what a laptop is like when you're using it. So what do I mean by that? Like, let's say I'm playing a game on this phone, or I'm texting someone. When I'm done, the act of folding the device closed feels kind of like shutting your laptop, right? So you don't really feel like picking it up again. It doesn't distract you. You close it and you're done with it for a while until you want to get back to it later. One of the really cool thing, things this phone has. Also with this form factor, you'd think that they wouldn't add, for example, reverse wireless charging. This phone actually has reverse wireless charging. It also uh, adds that feature. And um, some of you might think why I'm not talking about the Fold 3 um, the Fold 3 actually has a smaller battery than this phone. Not only that, the in-screen in, uh, camera, the one that's inside, is actually worse than the one that's on this phone. So this is why I truly think the Fold 2 is a very special phone, especially if you pick this phone uh, open box or refurbished. It is an excellent device for that money. There isn't really anything that will, will, will compete with it on, on the market. It is a very special phone. Um, I cannot emphasize uh, how different it is to be using such a device when you're using traditional phones and you switch to this it is actually very hard to go back to a normal phone because what this offers is just amazing and another comment is uh, people might be thinking about battery life what about battery life you know on this phone the battery life i would say is pretty decent um, you have to think about this this has a 120 hertz screen it has two, two screens, a really big inner one and an outer one. On average, I am still getting decent battery life on this phone, right? Um, it says a full charge will last about one day on my use. Um, average daily use is, is um, here that you can also see. But honestly, it, it lasts me more than enough. I mean, if you're intensively gaming on the inner screen, it, it might t uh, drain the battery longer, right? But... Uh, it, it really uh, it really does well. I'm just opening up some charts here to, to look at this data, but um, in general, it, it, it does fine. You can see I'm getting on average, some days I'm getting five hours and 30 minutes, some days six hours and 30 minutes screen on time, six hours, so on average six, four to six hours, depending on how intensively I'm, I'm using this device. Pretty crazy again for a phone with a screen that big and two screens and all that tech literally packed into something that when you open it, it is very slim, right? Look how slim that device is. It is a super slim device. Really, really can't emphasize um, more, much more how cool or how uh, pretty impressive this piece of tech is. Uh, highly recommend it to anyone. I um, really wanted to just show everyone how good this device is, uh, talk more about it, uh, give everyone an idea and an impression of, uh, of, of this phone. And uh, yeah, please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will be uh, more than happy to review other phones, other laptops, other devices as they come. I'm a very big tech fan. I, I buy so many devices and I use them for very long periods of time and switch between different devices uh, just to get a real world or real view impression of usage of these devices. Again. Not everything is about holding two phones side by side and seeing one millisecond this phone is faster or this camera is a little sharper than that. No, I'm more about real world use, right? What, what does this phone do that makes it special? And let me tell you, this phone, what it does, no other phone does today. It is very special in that sense. It is an amazing device and I highly, highly recommend this device. Every phone ha has, has its strong points. This one has very, very, very good uh, features that you just won't find anywhere else. All right. Thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe and take care and I'll see you in the next one.